I'm gonna take you through how you obtain your Ghana passport. I didn't grease any palm, I didn't cut any corners, like I went through it. This is how I applied for my passport. I'm Esther Ru from OES Africa. So today I'm gonna take you through the Ghana online passport application process. So you don't even need to be in the country to do this. You can be at the comfort of your home to apply for the Ghana passport, whether it's a renewal, it's a new one, it's damage or missing that you want to replace is now the whole process is like three major steps the first one will be the online application process itself the second thing is you have to go for your biometrics that get your thumbprint taken and get your passport photo taken scheduling for your interview and actually going for the interview the third one which is the last process is the collection of your passport which means the whole process would have been completed i will include the cost analysis at the end of the video so stay tuned to start with we have to sign up onto the Ministry of Foreign Affairs platform. And to do that, we have two ways. You can do a Google search using Ghana Online Passport Application, or you can type in into the system directly passports.mfa.gov.gh. Immediately enter, as you can see, we have like different types of uh, application on here from 100 CDC to 250. That's the expedited, which is more like the premium of express. And then we have the standard, which is a regular. If you travel a lot, I would just advise you take 48 pages. And down here, we have the mode of payment. Like you can pay through banks or mobile money. This is my first time applying for a passport online. So I'm going to click on the new user. It will take me to this page. After you fill in your personal details, they will send a code to you via the phone number you provided. So you input the code and immediately you enter the code, the page will load to this, which is a payment stage. I'm going for regular 48 pages and I'll be paying via mobile money. After that, you click on continue, it will take you to the next page and you follow the whole process to actually make payment. When the process here is kind of complete, it will send a notification to your phone that is the phone number you use to register in order for you to kind of approve the payment. When the payment is approved, you click on check payment status. So if the payment went through, you will see this notification saying your payment was successful. To access your release form, click on my application, which is the link above and it should take about 10 minutes, but I clicked right away. Yeah, and it shows in my account, this is a new application. Just click on it to take me to the next stage which is the start of the whole process. Confirm the type of passport you are going for. When I'm going for a renewal, and if you choose renewal, you will have to provide a proof of profession, which is maybe your introductory letter from your company, and then your old passport. If you choose damaged or missing passport, you have to go with an affidavit. It's signed by a lawyer in a local court near you. If you're a first applicant, you need your best certificate. But right now, because of the Ghana card regulations being passed, I think instead of your birth certificate, you will need your Ghana card. Do you get it? Yeah, so let's continue. Yeah, so when this is done, you click on continue, it takes you to the next page, which is to upload your passport picture. So I did that and we are on the next stage of the application process. This is just asking for your personal information, but I would like to explain this one here. The proof of your profession. Now, I had a bit of a struggle here because I thought I was supposed to attach my documents. So I, I scanned the documents onto my computer to upload, but the upload wasn't working. So if yours is not working, like don't bother. Just input the document number if it has got any code. So when you are done with that, you save and it will take you to the next stage, which is your education. Confirmation of your citizenship. Now take this one very serious because this actually confirms that you're a citizen. It's filling for your mother, your father, and your grandparent and make sure the information we provide are like accurate. After that, you get your guarantees. 
your guarantors you choose someone who is a relative but really not your parent and the guarantor cannot be a witness at any point you feel like you don't have full information i will advise you pause when you pause the whole thing will be saved so that you can go back to it another time and you continue don't provide inaccurate information after filling for the witness the last thing will be the preview that is to see all the information you've entered now at this point if you feel like there is any correction to be made to make sure the information you've entered is correct please do so because after this point you can't edit your application anymore after your review you've confirmed that all that you've entered is accurate and there is no correction needed you move to book in your appointment now the start of the appointment is you choose the location we have Accra, Tema, Tema Liho. You choose the region you want to go to. I am in Accra, so I'm gonna choose Accra. But for Accra, we have the regular and we have premium. For the sake of, you know, demonstration, I will choose the premium and we'll check like how that looks like, right? So let's choose the premium here. Accra premium, yeah. And then you confirm, okay. So as you can see before, when I chose that like regular Accra, my date was on the 29th of September. But right now you see my date is September 17th, which is like 11 days lesser. I'm choosing the regular and my date to be 29th September. Okay, so here they are showing you your actual location in Accra, where I will be going for it. Kimbu Road, this is the passport office. I'll be going at 10 a.m. and my period is just one hour. I confirm my booking that I've chosen the date. If you don't want this date and you want later, you can change it. After that, you have a form you filled all compiled. That will be your appointment slip. And you have to arrange this to be signed by you and your witness. And you present this on the day of your appointment, which means when I'm going on the 29th of September, I'll be taking this with me after you've been able to book your appointment now you just wait for your date to go for the appointment if you want to change the date to any other day that you'll be available fine probably you are outside the country and you'll be in ghana maybe in two months or three months for appointment you can choose the date based on that but i chose the next available date which was on the 29th of september for the appointment you need to go with your appointment slip the appointment slip will be the printout from the online application you failed you have to sign it and your witness is supposed to sign it too i'm in accra currently and when i was going for the appointment my witness was not in accra so what i did was i used his initials and when i got okay i will explain what happened about that when i got there later you need your old passport if you are renewing if you are not renewing and is there actually a new passport you are applying for you need your best certificate or your Ghana card but I would advise that if you have both just take both with you you know just to be safe you understand but if your passport was damaged you pour water on it it got bent or it's missing you will need an affidavit you have to go with an affidavit signed by two people one should be a lawyer at any local court and then the other is any prominent person in society in all these cases you have to go with your appointment letter if you are working or your student id if you're a student but on the application form they don't provide any alternative you are either a worker or a student so i'm not too sure about what you have to do if you are not working or you are not a student <laughs> also i thought I showed you on my dashboard on the online application when it comes to the appointment you can choose premium pack premium pack is more like uh, express right so you get to be attended to very fast and if you choose premium pack you saw already that you will be paying 150 extra when you go for your appointment and I'm thinking this means you won't be in a queue or you won't be wasting so much to be attended to you get it the process is supposed to be fast for you my very first passport application it took a lot of time although i bought uh, expedited so from there i actually vow never to get express passport again i always go for the standard or the regular so with this tool i did the regular and on my appointment i chose the regular appointment i'm not really in a hurry to show anywhere so regular worked for me now it's 29 september and it's the day of my appointment so i went for my appointment right no i actually forgot like can you believe that i forgot one of the most important appointment of my life i remembered in the evening of 29th right so i plan to go the next day which is on the 30th to the passport office and you know 
take some hospital situation i saw they contacted the passport office when i was filling my form so i wanted to log in onto my dashboard and pick the number to call them immediately i logged in there was a notification that my appointment date is passed so i will have to reschedule i'm like yeah that's good news so i rescheduled the appointment but i was thinking i'll be able to get maybe the next day or two days later or something like that but the next available date was in october which in retrospect you know is long but then if you think about it i'm actually glad that i get to reschedule on my computer at the comfort of my home right so i did that and i screen recorded that to also show you but for the life of me i can't find the screen recording i probably deleted it at some point i don't know but this is the new available day that i was able to pick up and it was in the afternoon last thing i would like to touch on is your dress code they actually have a code you cannot wear white or white or cream at all because your background for the photo for your passport will be white so if you wear white you're probably going to be washed out with a background you understand so you wear something colorful and then one thing this is not required but i am just suggesting that when you are going wear something a little bit professional corporate like especially for guys when you wear maybe a polo shirt like any type of t-shirt they will actually give you a jacket to wear for your photo but for a lady as you go so shall you be and the ladies you are not giving any jacket your picture is taken whether it's good or bad but you are going to keep this passport for like 10 years and you know how pictures go still even after just one year so like try to look good a little bit professional not that like you get to the immigration someone will look at your the picture on your passport and be like I'm sure you're not carrying any cocaine you know that kind of thing just put a little toss into your dressing when you are going it's not really necessary to wear hair but then just you know be a little bit polished up looking nice and cute but let's fast forward to 19th october we are not missing our appointment today we are going to the passport office it's a sunny regular day in accra and here i am at kimbo road at the passport office Immediately you get to the entrance of the office you see police officers and military men at the gates now don't panic if you are not doing anything illegal they are just there to assist you so when i got there i did just that i told them what i was in for and they directed me to where i should present my documents i just went straight to the man they directed me to i gave my document to him and he logged me in and he told me to you know have a seat and wait for my name to be called and the next thing was my interview the interview was kind of short waited for about five minutes to be called the interview took like maximum three minutes we spent a ton of time on my signing and the rest of the things was just one minute now when it got to my profession i stated that i am an audit officer he just passed a very common joke about auditing and we all laughed and after that no questions were asked he just marked everything done done and then he passed the document forward and he said i was done and supposed to move to the photo boat which was kind of my next place but i was asked to wait a little bit for my name to be called and that was where most of the time was spent but immediately i was called within five minutes we were done they took my thumbprint and my photograph and i was out of there by the interview the man asked why my witness was not able to sign and i told him my witness was not in the country at the moment he was in the country but he wasn't in accra and then he kind of hesitated a little bit and he just continued so i don't think it's really a big deal but if you can get them to sign just get them to sign just to avoid any inconvenience to you i feel like if you have any difficulty or issue at any point of this process it will be the interview time just play nice and you know go along with whatever they are doing to make the whole process smooth for you if you actually fill the application yourself you already know what is on your paper because it's the same question they are going to ask you they are just asking you question based on how you fill the application so it's nothing new but if somehow you did not fill this application online by yourself do what spend the time to go through to know anything that is in there if you think you forget any information just write it on another paper or have a doc print out just look at it and answer most of the back and forth i saw going on at the interview tables where something that is not being filled well they will ask you what's your hometown and someone will give a different place than what is on the application slip because they feel like you are not the same person who filled it they will tell you to probably sit somewhere and they will call the next person 
and in the process they'll be wasting your time so just make sure every document you present you know what you are presenting you know the information on there so that when they ask you it's easy to go with after taking your photo and giving your thumbprint at the end you are giving a slip which shows the day that you'll be coming for your passport and a code that they will need to get your passport for you so on the day of the passport collection you will go with this slip and you just present it to whoever is there and they will give you your passport Hello. I'm coming from my house. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know the name? No, you know the name. Also, the bachelor, me, you me. I'm going to tell you. 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 Yeah, we'll, we'll be there. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll go. Oh. All right, thank you. I have my passport on this day I was feeling like it's my birthday like I was so 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 happy this is my second renewal but the third time applying for a passport but I remember like the hassle I had to go through on my first passport application but this has been smooth so far so you can do it yourself if you feel like you still need assistance after me taking through all this hmm my sister my brother why have you spent all this time going through this video if you are not going to apply for yourself eh finally the only cost to this ghana passport application for me was just 150 that is the initial payment i made online for the application itself i didn't pay anyone i didn't grease any palm i went through the required process i didn't cut any corners like i went through it this is how i applied for my passport until next time